Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, here I wanted to uh, share with you um, uh, the explanation of how to implement the uh, Langsos iteration. Okay, so I'll start with uh, this Langsos iteration function or the Langsos algorithm, which takes as arguments um, the matrix S, which is, which is supposed to be symmetric, uh, your own initialization uh, for the P vector, and N is the uh, dimension of the intended uh, Grilog subspace. So, first of all, here I'm just printing S and I'm just recovering its shape or the number of rows in S. Now I will use this M to uh, initialize my Q matrix, which has M rows and N plus one columns. And uh, similarly, I'll have a T matrix, which is uh, supposed to be tridiagonal, tridiagonal at the end, which has N plus one rows and N uh, columns. Here I'm initializing the first Q, which is equal to B divided by the norm of B. And uh, I'm entering this Q uh, as the first column in the capital Q matrix. So let's enter the main loop. So I'm saying that for K going from zero to N, in fact, you can, it's better to start from one to N, but it works fine here. And what I'm doing, as you uh, see in uh, the slides of uh, lectures uh, 14 and 15, and I think it says slide number uh, 13, you can see that V is equal to S times QK. So this is V equal to S times QK. Here I'm computing AK or what is uh, the entry in the uh, diagonal, KK diagonal of T. So which is equal to what? Which is equal to uh, Q, K times V, okay? So this is ending up to be uh, a scalar or real number. Now I'm computing this temporary variable, which is equal to V, minus b k minus one q k minus one okay and minus t k k times q k okay so this then temporary variable here because it's going to be appearing as a row i'll transpose it to reinitialize v to update v okay so this way what i did i generated uh, an orthogonal vector to my previous q k okay so now i'm computing the normal v and I'll put it in the upper diagonal entry in T. So it's gonna be ending up to be in the K plus one K entry in T, in the tri-diagonal matrix. So, and to me, B K plus one is going to be equal to this T K plus one Q uh, to T K plus one K. And if this norm is not uh, zero, so I'll have to predefine some epsilon, which is here 10 to the power minus 12. If it's not zero, then I can proceed. I can generate the new, finally, the new, the new vector, which is Q equal to V divided by TK plus one K, okay? So I'll just enter it as the K plus one column in Q. And finally, I would return QT, okay? And in case, just in case of uh, the norm is too small, then I'll just return QT and I'm interrupt. So in my, uh, in, my, in my example, I have here S, which is equal to uh, 111, 143, 131. And you can see after uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, call for the, uh, for the length source iteration that the, uh, this is the T matrix I was able to obtain, the TK matrix I was able to obtain, okay? And uh, I compute its, eigenvalues, and you can see these are the three eigenvalues for the correspond TK we generated. And these are supposed to be uh, good approximations of the real eigenvalues of S, which are, as you see, my 0918, 0.700, 62.18. So you can see that there is, uh, these are acting as good approximations. So for example, the largest one, 6299 here, which is a very good approximation of the largest eigenvalue. Okay, so that's it. This is what I had to, to share with you uh, today to explain uh, how the Langsos iteration uh, could be or should be implemented. Thank you, thank you very, very much for following and uh, stand, stay tuned, okay? Bye.